This is Sandy. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we celebrate the feast day of the Holy Rosary of Our Lady of Manawag today, we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I they have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. sa Diyos sa kaitaasan.
Let us pray. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. And as you revealed to us by an angel the coming of your Son in human form, so lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence, all mankind, in the presence of the Lord, for he steers forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. in my God, in my God, my Savior, I rejoice. My Spirit rejoices in my God, in my God, my Savior, I rejoice. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in my God, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day will ages call me blessed. My spirit Rejoices in my God, in my God, my Savior, I rejoice. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy, holy is His name. He has mercy in every generation. He has mercy on those who fear His name. My spirit rejoices in my God, in my God, my Savior, I rejoice. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he sent away in nothing. He has come to help his servant Israel, remembering the promise of his mercy. My spirit rejoices in my God, in my God, my Savior, I rejoice. My spirit rejoices in my God, in my God, my Savior, I rejoice.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had ascended to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olives near Jerusalem, a mere Sabbath journey away. Entering the city, they went to the upstairs room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphius, Simon the Zealot, party member, and Judas, son of James. Together, they devoted themselves to constant prayer. There were some women in their company, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and upon arriving, the angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored daughter, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. She was deeply troubled by his words and wondered what his greeting meant. The angel went on to say to her, Do not fear, Mary. You have found favor with God. You shall conceive and bear a son and give him the name Jesus. Great will be his dignity and he will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will be without end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know man? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Hence, the Holy Spirit to be born will be called the Son of God. Know that Elizabeth, your kinswoman, has conceived a son in her old age. She who was thought to be a sterile is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. And Mary said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. And with that, the angel Gabriel let her. May their friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The Gospel is about the Annunciation, and this is the very first moment or encounter or event in the life of Mary, the Annunciation. Ang pagbabalita, mabuting balita ng isang anghel. At ano po ang binalita? Malinaw na malinaw na si Maria ay magiging ina ng Diyos. It is all about the announcement that Mary will be the mother of God. Isa sa mga magandang dapat natin alalahanin yung biyaya ng calling. Clearly, in today's gospel, Mary is called to be the mother of God. And in our faith, we always believe in the gift of vocation. Every one of us is being called to something else. Lahat tayo may bukasyon. Bukasyon ng pag-aasawa, bukasyon sa pagiging single blessedness, at bukasyon sa pagiging relihiyoso o pagiging pari. Lahat po tayo 
ay may kanya-kanyang bukasyon. And this is something that we should learn from the way Mary accepted the gift of, his, of her calling. And the lesson is to fully understand her own calling. Ganon din po sa atin. Ito yung unang paalala sa ating lahat. Ang dapat unawain natin ng maigi, ng malinaw ang ating tawag. Sabi ko nga po, lahat tayo ay tinawag. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang tawag. Ang lesson, ang tanong na uunawaan ba natin ang tawag natin. Alam ko today, may kasakasama tayong cellphone lagi. The word katawag is so ordinary nowadays. Almost every day, may tawag. It's either ikaw tumatawag o someone will call you up. And this is the lesson from today's gospel. Kapag tawag ang pinag-uusapan, dapat unawain mo yung tumatawag. Just like what happened in today's gospel, yung anghel ang tumawag kay Maria. At sino nakipag-usap ang anghel? Ano ang nangyari sa eksena? Inuunawa ni Maria ang kanyang tawag. Ito yung dapat paalala sa atin sa pag-uusap, mga kapatid. Sa pag-uusap o may tumatawag, huwag mong alalahanin lamang yung side mo. Dapat unawain mo rin yung kabilang linya. I minsan sa atin dito tayo nadadali eh. Hindi tayo nagkakaunawaan sapagkat sa pakipag-usap natin, sa tawagan, ikaw lang, sa'yo lang pinipilit mo. Na, 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 minsan ba naranasan nyo ba yung nagsasalita pala yung kabilang linya, may iniisip ka na sa sasabihin mo? Eh, yun ang human tendency. Pinapaalala sa atin sa Ebanghelyo, kapag tawag ang pinag-uusapan, kapag tayo nakipag-usap, unawain mo rin yung linya ng kabila. E paano mo mauunawaan ang tawag kung ang iniisip mo lang yung linya mo? And this is the, exactly the reason. Kita mo, noong una, iniisip ni Maria yung linya niya. Paano to? Wala akong kilalang lalaki. Paano to? Hindi to ko, hindi ko kaya to. Pinahinahon ng mahal na anghel si Maria. Huminahon ka. Huwag kang matakot. Intindihin mo muna ang sasabihin ko. Huwag nating pangunahan ang lahat ng ating side. Maganda din mga kapatid. Unawaan natin yung kabilang side. Paano naging mahinahon si Maria? Sabi nga, hinawag sa maging ina ng Diyos. Sagot agad ng tao, paano to? Hindi ko kaya to. Batang bata ako, walang wala ako. Teka, teka, teka. Ayun, nung huminahon, ganun lang naman ang hiningi ng Diyos sa kanya. Mga kapatid, malinaw na malinaw. When God called Mary to be the mother of God, God did not ask Mary to do anything herself, but to simply let God be God in her own life. This is the calling to be the mother of God from this little girl, and the world was waiting for her own consent. At simply lang inihingi ng Diyos sa kanya, hindi hinihingi ng Diyos sa kanya na siya'y magiging sikat. She was not asked to do anything herself. But simply to let God be God in her own life. To simply surrender her own littleness. Yun yun. Kapag masyado tayong ini in nating iniisip na, paano ako? Hindi ko kaya to. Walang wala ako. Nako, kapiranggot lang meron ako. Dugyot ako. Hindi ako sikat. Nako, paano to? No. Ang hinihingi ng Diyos sa kanya, simply surrender your own littleness. You are not asked to do something else. Ibu ibigay mo lang kung anong meron ka. Kahit kapiranggot yan, simply surrender. 
And today's feast of the Holy Rosary, nandiyan yung ating mahal na ina. She was not asked us to do something else. Same thing with what she did. Simply surrender what you have. Kaya po nung isang gabi, kagabi, ako'y naging emotional po. Emotional na emosyal sapagkat nakita ko po yung mga taong lumapit sa mahal na ina. Lumapit. Halos lahat ng nakita ko lumapit sa mahal na ina. Umiiyak. Ako'y nagtataka bakit sila umiiyak. Bakit sila emotional. Considering may kaya naman mga ito. Mayaman naman sila. Maganda naman ang buhay nila. Maayos naman ang buhay nila. But then, bakit sila umiiyak? Because they're trying to surrender kung anong meron sila. At kung meron man sila, it's all about their challenges. It's all about their difficulties. I was very emotional when this certain mother come near to the Blessed Mother. Iyak ng iyak. Sabihin natin may kaya siya. Halos lahat na sa kanya na. But then, at the, in front of the Mother Mary, binuhos niya yung luha niya. Bakit? Because I believe she surrendered everything she had right now. And at that moment, kung, meron man, mer- kung ano mang meron siya, yun yung pains. Kung ano mang meron ang kaya niyang ibigay kay Maria, yun yung sakit. Sakit ng isang inang nawalan ng anak. Sakit ng isang inang pinatay ang anak. And I was so emotional looking at her. Kasi that's exactly the point kapag kausap mo yung mahal na ina ng manawa. She was not asking for us to lay down all the things that we have. To lay down all our riches, to lay down all our achievements, to lay down all our gifts, but to simply lay down what's in our hearts. Kaya mga kapatid, kung ano man meron tayo ngayon, huwag tayong mahiya, huwag tayong matakot, huwag tayong malungkot. Kung ano ang nasa puso natin, surrender that to Mary. Wala man kayo dito sa loob ng manawag. Nanunood man kayo sa Facebook at sa YouTube. Nakikita ng ating mahal na ina ng manawag yan. Alam niya ang pinagdadaanan natin. Alam niya ang nasa puso niya. Napus- nasa puso natin. Ang hinihiling lang niya. Ayok, sabihin mo. Simply lay down yung nasa puso mo. Kung nasa puso mo ngayon ay takot, ibuhos mo. Kung ang nasa puso mo ngayon ay paghihirap, pagsubok, sakit, o di kaya tuwa, lay it down in front of our mother, our lady of Manawa. And that's the essence of our gift of calling. Ako'y natutuwa na sa gitna ng ating pagsubok, ng ating mga protocols. Alam ko po dito po sa Manawag ay no movement. But yung kitang kita ko po, kayo po'y mataintim na sumusunod sa ating protocols, yung social distancing. Ako po'y nagagalak na tutuwa. At alam ko po, ito po ang nilalaman ng ating puso. Ang mananatiling tapat sa utos, tapat sa batas at tapat sa kasunduan. And speaking of tapat, kung meron mang isang modelo na dapat magsilbing modelo ng ating pagiging tapat, walang iba po kundi si Maria, ang isang taong tapat. Kaya nakakalungkot kapag ikaw ay may debo, kung ikaw ay may deboto kay Maria at hindi ka tapat, nako po, medyo hindi po naaayon yon. Sa lahat tayong lahat na may debosyon sa mahal na ina, kung meron mang isang bagay na may papakita natin everyday, ito yung pagiging tapat. Sapagkat si Maria mismo ang deboto ko, ang modelo ng obedience. Pagiging tapat sa lahat. 
Muli po, maligayang kapistahan sa ating lahat. Sa mga pagsubok na ating pinagdaraanan, huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. Alam po ng ating mahal na ina, nakikita niya. Sa ating mga panalangin, minsan nauunahan tayo ng ating mga gusto. Nauunahan tayo ng ating mga pangangailangan. Mga kapatid, nakikita niya ang ating mahal na ina yan. Ang sa kanya lang is to simply open our hearts. And that's exactly what she did when the angel Gabriel talked to her. Pinahinahon siya, huwag kang matakot. Alam ng Diyos ang manararamdaman mo. Ang gusto lang ng Diyos, sabi na Angel, is to open your hearts. We all stand and all together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in the Holy Spirit, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, His only begotten Son, born before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, to Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With the prayer of the Blessed Virgin Mary as our model, let us give praise to God and present our needs. And let us ask Him, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all the members of the church, may they look up to Mary as their mother and live as worthy children and of so noble a mother. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For national leaders, may they strive to further justice, peace, and the common good of the citizenry. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For the sick and the abandoned, may they feel in their sufferings and needs the protection and maternal presence of the Virgin Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all who devoutly recite the rosary, may they be drawn closer to God through this prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us who celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, may we, like Mary, praise God, recognize His might and mercy, and remain faithful to Him until death. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For those who are affected and afflicted by COVID-19, especially our healthcare providers and frontliners, the sick, and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the Lord, the government and private agencies swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions, the intentions of this Mass, and for the intentions of all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Once again, in silence, we offer to God all our personal needs, prayers, the needs and intentions of other people. And as we open our hearts, we ask the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa.
Father, you sent your Son to be born of a woman, Mary. Grant that our devotion to her may draw us closer to your Son, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept these gifts as we celebrate the mysteries of your Son. May we will become worthy of eternal life, He promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. On this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we praise, bless, and proclaim your name, consenting to the divine word, Mary became the mother of God. Embracing your saving will, she became the handmaid of the Lord. Devoting herself to life and work of your son, Mary cooperated in the mystery of redemption. Because of this, she stands before us, mother and model of Christ. Now gathered by the Spirit with one voice, we join with Mary and all the saints in their triumphant hymn of praise. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic de Guzman, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.